Hello everybody, welcome to AC Milan TV News. My name is Bruno, and today we won our first win of the season. Um, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't amazing. Uh, we did improve a little bit in a few areas, but overall it wasn't a good game for us. Uh, I'm just uh, really happy that we won, and I'm really happy we got three points. But if we play against big teams like Inter, Juve, and Apple the way we did today, we're going to lose the game. So we got to figure something out here. we got to try to change the tactics a little bit and see where we can go from there. Um, Pressure did play well. They couldn't do much, really. Um, I think they could have scored a goal in the beginning of the game right after uh, Chalnobu scored. They missed right on the line. And that is the danger that we're facing right now. We are not scoring enough goals. We are not shooting enough balls at the target to be able to put away these teams. And throughout the whole game, we had to sit in the edge of the seats because we don't know if we're going to win or lose the game. So it is a little frustrating, but it was a win. So I'm happy about that. I think Joe Paul did improve a little bit. I don't think his his um, selection was right. I think he should have been playing with uh, Paqueta from the start. And Castillo should not be playing. He really didn't do anything today. He's just... I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure why he keeps... Um, trying to put Castillo in the formation. Castillo did not play well as a forward. Uh, he brought him back a little bit. He did not play well today. I thought that under Silva was a nice change of pace. Um, it gives it gives uh, Piontek a challenge for his spot. And you, c- you could see when Piontek came in, he was ready. He was shooting the ball. He had, what, three, four chances. So... I think that was a positive thing that he put Andres Silva to play. And Andres Silva didn't play that bad. He uh, he had a lot of... Uh, he His movements are very is very good. I like how the way he moves, the way he goes back. If nothing is happening, he goes back and tries to get the ball. Obviously, he didn't have too much of a service. But I liked his ideas. I liked that he he was trying. So I like that. And that motivates P- Piantec to play better because now he knows that his spot is not a permanent spot. And he has some challenge for that uh, starting forward position. So I think that John Paul did do well by starting under Silva. It was a little bit of a shock because I wasn't expecting it. But as the game went on, I thought it was a good a good idea, especially when Pianta came in. It, you can see that he was more more hungry, more uh, I guess concerned for his spot, and he's not a untouchable player. So. That was very good from Giampaolo. Um, Cassier, on the other hand, uh, he came in instead of Borini, and he did not play well. I don't think he played well at all. He's still shooting the ball and going over the bar. Um, he was mispa- misplacing passes a lot. But even him not playing well, I think he played better than Borini would play if what Borini were to start. So... It, it is a little toss-up. I think we're still missing a right midfielder in place like us, uh, Cassia. Maybe Chano can go over there and we put Paqueta on the left. Uh, but it is a little complicated, that position, because we just don't have the players to play there, I don't think. I think I don't think Chano is a player that can fit there. I think he's more of a left-side uh, player, just like Paqueta. So it's hard to play somebody else other than Cassia on that position. But he didn't. He didn't play particularly well. Um, even Chalnoglu, he scored a goal, but he didn't play well. Um, even though our midfield is a lot better than the midfield from last week, Benasir, very good player. He played well. I don't know how he's winning challenges, aerial challenges. He's what five feet four, and he was winning uh, aerial challenges. It was pretty impressive. He was hungry. He was aggressive. So I like the player. I like his positioning too. He was always in front of the defense, always passing the ball. He had some nice passes too under Silva. I enjoy watching him play. I think he's very good positive for us moving forward. And he should be starting from now on because um, he's definitely a, a, a point in a midfield that we don't have to worry about anymore. We don't have to worry about that holding midfielder anymore because he's there. Uh, and I, I don't know what the position. I don't know why Paquita started on the bench. He came in. It took him about five minutes to get, you know, warm up to the game. But after he did, you can see in the last 10 minutes of the game, Castillo came off. 
we start going up and shooting balls at the goal. Piatek had like three or four shots in 10 minutes. Uh, Paqueta hit the post. So I think Castillo is a, a player that should not be on the field. But that is Jean-Paul's uh, decision. Maybe he's doing something in training that we don't see. But during the game, I don't think he's good enough. Uh, like I said before, though, we won. I'm happy that we won. But we didn't play well, and we gotta improve. We gotta keep improving. We gotta probably move Castillo from the from the lineup. Um, maybe put Sean Ogle with Castillo. I'm not sure what the, what we gotta do. I want to see Leon come in and play because he did play well during the preseason. So maybe he should be implemented into the team. Uh, Musacchio. I, I I just don't like Musacchio. So. I would like somebody else to play in his position. I think there's better players. I think Gabi is better. So hopefully John Paul does implement that as well. And we did play a little bit faster than last weekend, but we still kind of slow coming from the back. We still kind of slow in midfield. Uh, we still jogging with the ball, waiting for everybody to come back and defend against us. And that's something we still got to improve. And pressure, you know, the thing is pressure is... It's a team that just got promoted. We won one nothing since zero. They didn't really have much going on for them. Uh, they were off sides a lot. They uh, jump. Uh, Donnarumma didn't really do much. So we're gonna have to wait and see how we play against Center in the fourth game of the season to see how our team uh, do. Um, how our team can compete with the top teams. And Roman Lazio are playing today. I want to see this match uh, today or tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow. Roman Lazio are playing tomorrow. And I want to see that match because that's going to be... I want to see how they're playing. I want to see if uh, we have a chance against those teams. Because those are, I think those are the teams we're going to be playing uh, to get top four. I think those are going to be the, the challenges for us. It's going to be Lazio and Roma for the top four. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, oh, I do have to do a play... Uh, a player uh, rating, so let me do that now. Donnarumma didn't really do much. Uh, I think he had one uh, mistake. The ball was going above his head, and he tried to grab it, and he mishandled it. But I think overall, a good a good game for Donnarumma. He's improving a lot with uh, his feet, the passing. He's really calm. I like that. That was um, I'm pretty surprised how he is now because he used to be really bad with with uh, the ball on his feet. So I'll give Donnarumma a six out of ten. I think he did quite well. Um, average game, a few mistakes, but he did good. Uh, clean sheet, so. Uh, Calabria, uh, a little bit. Going forward, he didn't provide much again. And I think he should be going forward a little bit more. He's uh, defending, he's still a little bit suspect. A, a 5 out of 10 for me for Calabria. Romeo only played well. 6 out of 10. Uh, Musacchio, I didn't really do much wrong, so 6 out of 10. And Rodriguez. Uh, going forward as well, he didn't do much. He did a little bit more than Calabria. So I think a 6 out of 10 is okay for uh, for Rodriguez. Now, Bessonier, I think he was one of the best players. I think he'll be a 7 out of 10. He's playing well in the holding midfielder. We should not be replacing him. I think he should be playing every game from now on so he can get confident and he can be uh, implemented to the team the right way. So hopefully he can start the next game after the international break. The break. Uh, Cassier, I didn't really like how he played. Um, and I don't want to give a, a low, a too low of a rating for Cassier, but I think a 5 out of 10 is fine. I think he was probably one of the worst players on the team, really. Uh, Chan Nogli scored a goal, but he really didn't do much else than that. Uh, a few good passes. So 6 out of 10 for Chan Nogli, just for the goal. Castillejo... Four out of ten. He, you know, second half he was invisible. He was just invisible. First half he didn't provide much. He tried to get some long balls going, and he is running, but he just does. He's not. I. It, it was like we're playing with a 10, 10 man team when we play with Castillejo. So, it's hard to give him anything better than a four. Moving on, let's talk about Suzo. Suzo played well. He's creating a lot. He had the assist. Uh, he shoots on target. Um, I think we need Suzo on this lineup to keep going, challenging for things. So Suzo, 
six out of ten. And uh, under the Silva, um, I think he did well. He could do better. Uh, didn't really have a shot on goal, so that was unfortunate. But I like his movement. I thought he he was hungry. He was trying to improve and, and trying to help the team. So I'll give him a, a five out of ten. Piontek came in. He played very well when he came in. I think that was the best he played in the last eight games. So Piontek, I gave him a six. Um, who else came in? Borini, I don't know, five out of ten. And um, who else came in? Oh, man, I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> I'm not sure who else came in. Um, oh, Paqueta. Sorry, Paqueta. So the first five minutes, Paqueta didn't play that well, but he did hit the post. He did hold the ball in the in the, in the corner there. He magged the player. It was pretty, <laughs> pretty hilarious. He's a good player. I think he's very creative. He should be starting games. I give him a 6 out of 10 as well. So that's all I have for you guys today. Oh, John Paulo. John Paulo, I gave him a... Because of Castillo, I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Because Castillo should not be starting games. And Paqueta should be starting as well. So, that's all I got, I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe. Uh, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Because I thought it was kind of, uh, you know, weak from us. But we still won. And please share the video. It does help. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.